Hi Pisces, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel Cyber Angels and welcome to new people, new viewers. Please subscribe and hit the bell and to all my Cyber Angels make sure that you are subscribed to your channels because a YouTube do delete them from time to time as a lot of uh, creators are finding that their members are deleted that do not uh, visit the channels um, that they are subscribed to often enough then you'll be deleted so keep an eye on your memberships of all your favorite channels please so forewarned is forearmed and if you have uh, landed on this channel then please subscribe and hit the bell and uh, come in and join us in the live sessions as I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker uh, a bit of news as well is that I will be re restarting uh, the competition for the uh, Shadowlands and the vice versa deck and in third place uh, a free reading of 20 minutes but I won't be doing it on YouTube as no YouTubers or viewers uh, joined in in the first time I'm going to make a special page on Facebook so you can enter um, that page or apply to join that page if you wish to join in the competition okay so let's get started with your reading we have the Ten of Pentacles on Monday the 20th and this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July 2020 we've just entered Leo um, so it is an exciting period the energy is active passion creative logic so you might be m uh, more busy with your hobbies at the moment than uh, usual because of the passion um, and creativity um, and you might be more logical you might be strategically planning something and you might be busy uh, active in organizing something that you particularly want especially now that you have the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles means there is an ending to difficulties uh, specifically uh, financial or material as it is an earthly card so you will be going into um, a much better phase a new start of some sorts this could be a promotion this could be a new job uh, this could be a job if you haven't had a job for a while and you are going to get steady income coming in again but the ten of pentacles also means happy families reunion with family and friends perhaps you're planning a barbecue or a party um, it could also mean that you might win the lottery or a scratch card or a gamble that you've taken or you might be getting a gift of money or perhaps an inheritance and remember uh, with the ten of pentacles there is the rainbow so there could be an inheritance because the rainbow for me means connecting or connect something connecting with heaven heaven and earth are connected so perhaps this is a sign from somebody an ancestor that passed away um, but this is a transformational time see all the butterflies you're going into a better period on Wednesday we have the Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords is Libra but don't um, forget Gemini or Aquarius there could be a lady coming in to your life or there is already an Aquarian Gemini or a Libra that is a friend of yours she might give you a message or help you in some way to get clarity or justice or honesty as she stands for wisdom they're eager to learn and they're always trying to pick up new information and learn and also uh, communicate perhaps she might communicate with you um, or for you on behalf of you with something even if you're in a judicial situation you might want to get a queen of swords somebody to uh, 
um, advocate your position and perhaps you want them to get clarity and justice for you wow well you know they they do dive in the queen does dive in and protect uh, what she loves and what she cares about and she will fight right until the end to get the truth and clarity that you wish perhaps if you're not meeting one of these ladies then perhaps you are taking a leaf out of their or a page out of their book you're digging into something like I said at the beginning you might seek uh, more information uh, with regards to a situation on how to get a job what do you need for this special job or career if you are changing career because you want to earn more money you will get that uh, job apparently because the ten of pentacles is here and you've done the work so you are going to get rewarded for that but perhaps there could be a Libra friend helping you with finding information on the internet perhaps they are more uh, um, inventive in getting the information or know where to find the right information and they say use the internet google it but <laughs> sometimes you know uh, somebody says that to me and I can't find it and then I, I just talk to them about it it doesn't even have to be an air sign uh, Pisces um, it could be um, somebody else and they, they go tick 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 and they say oh yes you just go to that website and that's where all the answers are and then I think what how did you do that okay so don't be uh, scared to ask for help if you need to it could be from a Libra it could be from a Gemini it could also be from an Aquarium now Pisces we all know that you usually are um, very uh, spiritual and uh, highly sensitive or highly sensitive gifted audio uh, how do you call that or clear clairvoyant audiovoyant uh, uh, seeing uh, other things literally um, spiritually you might be highly sensitive um, emotionally or you might be listening more to your intuition because you've got the high priestess and the high priestess she plays the cards close to her chest remember that and she also represents the moon goddess and the moon goddess well represents the moon so this is your card in my eyes she does represent I believe Pisces okay although the page of uh, page of uh, uh, cups is also Pisces and like I said the moon now here we've got the high priestess and nearly in every card that you can see you see the moon even here you can see the sunshine but you can see the moon in the distance <coughs> And that is um, a sort of like signature of the author I believe but they're beautiful cards so you might be more sensitive emotionally or spiritually but also for me the high priestess means mystery okay she's mysterious she put in like I said she placed the cards close to her chest because she does have the book or scroll the Torah um, with all the answers she knows all the answers of life and between the dark and the light because she in the mythology she is the goddess and I forgot her name now but she can move between the uh, uh, the, un uh, the world the underworld and the world above the, uh, the ground the underworld and above ground she knows the secret to move between these two worlds and you can see the two pillars that's the uh, angels giving you a doorway to step through to this new beginning okay so listen to your intuition open your mind open your third eye chakra um, 
so that is also the third eye is also spiritual so it's a very spiritual day on Friday you might just get a new idea or your gut feeling is saying do this do that so be aware on Friday at the weekend you have the seven of cups and we all know that the seven of cups is the cup of dreams and wishes and goals now if you've got so many wishes or goals then make a pro and cons list don't tell anybody about it that you have specific wishes perhaps that is the situation at hand here so make a pros and cons list and see which dream or goal could come true uh, first and this will also motivate motivate you to start uh, taking action and getting this goal into life this idea into practice and this will motivate you to go on to the next one wow then we have the journey and you've got number 29 again 11 an angels number and I'll just hold it up so you can see all the beauty in the card and I know he's got his arms crossed and all of a sudden I get the message don't close yourself off open your solar plex open your heart and look at the bird he's there's an, an actually a heart on the third eye use your wisdom and open your third eye I was just talking about that I love these cards they're really beautiful again you've got the moon here and you've got the sun there both of the worlds the dark and the light it's beautiful now the journey could be a spiritual journey and I think for you it could be more of a spiritual journey because the Queen of Swords is also thinking and the mind okay so listen listen think beautiful very spiritual right that's the number 29 now he it, it looks like to me that he is a shaman after all it is the shaman uh, mystical oracle shaman uh, but what does a shaman what is a shaman he's the high priestess so a priest so he is the uh, same thing as the high priestess um, they are the head of a, of the church they represent a uh, the the faith the spiritualism um, so s watch your spirituality perhaps you're taking a journey inward perhaps you want to get take the journey and bring your ideas into the material world perhaps you journey within and see how you can bring the balance between seriousness uh, grown up and the innocence a child playfulness or you might actually be taking a journey because it is the summer holidays you might be going on holiday the journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries there you go of your life as you know it the journey is not a holiday it is a call to be hermit like and to go on a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage into the unknown there are no maps to the territory you will be exploring no marked paths or road signs like I said go within but open your solar plex be more playful let the joy come in let the love come in and shine that out to the outer world it's not where you begin it's not where you end it's how you cope with life and how what you do in life that is the inner journey but because I got the word journey I think some of you might be going on holiday this week the invitation or the suggestion of this card is the time to embark on the great journey is here do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling they are distant shores that could be that you might be crossing water 
I read more into things, sorry, but that is also my intuition talking, okay? Fearless, draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led through, even when you are not sure of where you are going. It is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. So go within this week, take the peace, do the meditation, contemplation, listen to those answers or ideas that come out. Go within in order to come back much stronger and much more certain of what you want and the w what you wish will come into your life, your dreams, your goals or your wishes. Be careful what you wish though because it might not turn out to be what you expect it to be. The Divine will give you what you need and what you can cope with. So it's not the right time. Why isn't it the right time? Let me know. Please tell me why is it not the right time when we have the journey and we're not supposed to miss the boat. They are saying, and the angels and the guides are saying, um, it's not the right time um, to perhaps journey um, to where you want to go because you will be led to where you should be going. So relax and let the ideas take you where you are going. So just sit quietly with your eyes closed and don't force your thoughts and see what comes up first. If the name of a dog or a pet comes up, then go with the name and s dwell on that for a few minutes. Don't push it away. Um, let's see what else comes in. If you have an idea you want a house or you want to refurbish a house and you start drifting in and uh, into the dream you know, or the meditation state like what colors you might start seeing colors or you might start seeing how you want to modernize a house let it happen see go with the flow that's what I'm also hearing okay try it and you will see change because it brings a form of peace when I do the healing or the meditation um, or the breathing exercise uh, in the live sessions uh, once we come back out of that state and that's about 10 minutes I think 15 minutes then you feel a peace coming over you and that is the first step to change so go with the flow. If you don't know how to do it, then join us in the life and experience it. I hope you like this reading. Take care and I hope to see you in the life. Please like and share and stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life, Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.